Mom! Mommy! Mommy! Mama! Can I just change my name? Are you ready to have a baby? If the answer is yes, you have to watch this video. What is up, friends? It is Marissa here, holistic nutritionist and mom to an amazing three-year-old little boy. I want to tell you guys all about the hidden toxins that are in your house that can affect you and your developing baby. It is crucial for you to be eliminating your toxic exposure before trying to conceive. And this is why. If you didn't have a chance, last week I posted a video all about preparing your body for pregnancy. And it is such easy steps that I provided for you guys to learn and to start implementing in your life right this second even if you're not planning on getting pregnant right now if you have some kind of idea of wanting to get pregnant in the future maybe two years down the line three years five years it doesn't matter you can start doing those steps in that video that i'm about to link up at the top here for you and start doing them right now because you are going to save so much time and so much trouble and stress on yourself when trying to get pregnant and preparing everything because let me tell you when you're pregnant you are just constantly worrying about everything and i want to take that worry away from you so you guys can be ready to have the most healthiest amazing pregnancy ever babies are getting a stream of toxins during pregnancy so toxins are mobilized during pregnancy because of a process called maternal fetal transfer. And I talk all about that in my pregnancy rejuvenation video or preconception rejuvenation video. That's a big mouthful. Anyways, they are constantly getting this toxic stream of herbicides, pesticides, even heavy metals that are stored in our body. And when we're pregnant, those toxins are moving through the umbilical cord and babies are absorbing those and it's getting stored in their body so they are getting a huge stream of toxins even before they leave the womb down at the bottom i'm going to put a research article for you guys to check out from the environmental working group they are an amazing company and i'm going to be giving you all kinds of resources that link back to them where you can figure out how to reduce the amount of toxins in your house a few years ago they put out an article the infants that they tested had 230 32 chemicals stored in the umbilical cord that is ridiculous and horrifying it is awful to think about how many toxins those babies are exposed to and that is because women are not prepping their body before pregnancy they women need to prepare and reduce toxins in their body before pregnancy because these chemicals can be carcinogenic they can be endocrine disruptors which affect hormones in the body and some of these chemicals that they found in the umbilical cord of these infants were triclosan, which comes from toothpaste and antibacterial soaps, dioxins, which come from bleach products like tampons and pads. When toxins are being mobilized in the body during pregnancy, it increases inflammation. And that inflammation can lead to a ton of different health issues during pregnancy, like gestational diabetes, preeclampsia, prematurity for infants, low birth weight, even pre and postnatal depression, friends. That is some pretty serious things that women can experience during pregnancy. And I want to be able to help you avoid that during your pregnancy. So stay tuned. I'm going to be giving you some really awesome steps and tips for you to start taking today to reduce your toxic load and the toxins in your environment to protect you and your future babe where you need to focus on detoxing your self-care products bathroom kitchen other miscellaneous things like your carpet the air quality in your house these are all places that you need to start focusing on and taking inventory of the products that you are currently using in those rooms what you can do right this second get a piece of paper get a pen go to all of those rooms your kitchen your bathroom your living room your dining room your bedroom, all the products that you use on a daily basis. I mean, even if you don't use certain things on a daily basis, take inventory of that and how many times or how often you're using those products. I'm going to give you a list right here. And you can use this list. You can screenshot it, take a picture. You can even send me an email or, or even comment down below. I will send you a full list of potential products that you are currently using. Just a general list so you have some sort of idea of where to start. 
Second thing you can do, head over to ewg.org backslash skin deep. You can search all of the products that you are currently using in your house, on your body. You can search on EWG, which is the Environmental Working Group, and they will give you a rating from one being not toxic to 10, which is extremely toxic, throw that shit out of the products that you're using. So it gives you some kind of idea before even throwing all your stuff out, because maybe the things that you're using right now are not toxic and you're pretty good. So check that out. Check out the products that you're using so you have some sort of idea of where you are getting a large stream of toxins in your body or a large exposure of toxins. Third tip I wanna give you guys is be mindful of certain green green wash products. And what I mean by green wash is, if you walk into a health food store, if you walk into a grocery store that has a natural health section, they have natural products. However, they may look like they are not toxic and that they're safe to use. However, companies are really good at greenwashing, which means they make the product look like it's okay and safe and not toxic to use. But unfortunately, those products do have some toxins in there that you should want to avoid as well. So before you buy anything or do anything or throw any of your products out, check out the Environmental Working Group Skin Deep. They will give you a huge list of products that are safe and non-toxic for you to use. Some of the toxins that you guys need to be so conscious of are some of the toxins that I'm about to give to you now. They're only a short list, but I will link down in the bottom all of the toxins that you guys need to avoid, especially when you are trying to conceive. And even when you are pregnant, you should definitely be avoiding them in general. PVCs. PVCs are found in shampoos, cosmetic bottles, and mouthwash. PVCs actually leach phthalates, which are endocrine disruptors, lead, mercury, cadmium, dioxins, and BPAs. Artificial coloring is found in pretty much most cosmetic products like lipstick and eyeshadows, and those are all colors that are stemming from coal or tar or petrochemicals, which is disgusting. BHA. This is in most cosmetics and this is so toxic that it is banned in the EU because it is a carcinogen and a potential endocrine disruptor. And even California has stated that BHA is a suspected carcinogen and it is still being used in Canada, unfortunately. So I really want you guys to be mindful of these things. Polysorbate, honestly, I freaking hate polysorbate on so many levels. It can be known as polysorbate 20, polysorbate 80, tween, they use those names interchangeably so people are confused. They don't know what the hell they are getting and they love to change and use different names to protect their asses and not let people be aware of the ingredients that they're using. So polysorbate is an emulsifier. It's found in moisturizers, so it, the moisturizers can penetrate the skin barrier and shampoos. It is potentially contaminated with carcinogenic, carcinogenic ingredients like ethylene oxide, which is so toxic and it's actually banned in Europe, which pretty much all kinds of things are banned in Europe because they have such a high standard of quality for everything and they do a substantial amount of testing before things can even reach the market. Triclosan. Triclosan is one of the ingredients that was found in the umbilical cord which is an endocrine disruptor. It affects the, the health of our hormones, the production, the detox of hormones. It affects all aspects of hormones and this is found in toothpaste, antibacterial soaps, antibacterial washes and this is another ingredient that you guys need to be very cautious of. Parabens. Parabens are everywhere friends parabens are friggin everywhere it is found in found in cosmetics it's used as a preservative it's made from petrochemicals and it mimics estrogen which has been linked parabens have been linked to breast cancer so that is pretty scary and to think that it is in cosmetics in our deodorants and it's still okay for companies to use peg compounds this is in cosmetics, food, moisturizers. It is also a huge chemical that is potentially contaminated with carcinogenic, carcinogenic ingredients like 
what I mentioned before, the ethylene oxide, sodium lauryl sulfate, aka SLS. And companies are getting so smart because they have people realizing that this ingredient is so toxic, so they decided to change its name to sodium lauryl sulfate, I believe. I'll put the right name down in the bottom here for you to actually know which name that they use interchangeably so you guys can avoid it. It is used in soaps, in anything that has bubbles, bath wash, especially bath washes and shampoos for children, which I just don't, I don't understand why that is even allowed, but here we friggin' are. It is a huge contaminant for that ethylene oxide, which is a carcinogen, and it can irritate the skin and eyes. And I also want to put it out there that this ingredient, SLS, is found in a lot of products at health food stores, like shampoos and soaps. So be mindful of that. Even if you go to the health food store and say, hmm, I'm going to try one of these natural, non-toxic products, be careful. Do your research before you buy anything, like I said before. Are you guys ready for the big one? Fragrance. Fragrance or perfumes. And this is found in so many things guys it is found in deodorants shampoos body washes and fragrance isn't just one ingredient it is a concoction of three up to three thousand different chemicals isn't that insane just to have one in one name on a package can have three thousand different toxic ingredients that is horrifying and I can promise you that those chemicals are not tested for toxicity. And phthalates are one of those chemicals that are in that 3000 chemical concoction. Phthalates are endocrine disruptors. It can affect the life of our hormones. Those are awful to be having in our body. And phthalates are used to disperse the scent into the air. So you know when you walk past somebody and you're like, mmm, they smell so great because it's lingering and then you spray a few spritzes of perfume on yourself and you're like, damn it, I still smell like ass. Why am I not smelling as good as this person? But that's called phthalates. Just avoid them, guys. Just avoid them. And a lot of perfumes or fragrance are trade secrets. They don't have to disclose those ingredients, which is pretty unfortunate because at this time, at this point, you're playing Russian roulette of which chemicals you're going to be getting. If you beautiful people need any more guidance, head over to my website, www.noblebabywellness. Oh, Jesus Christ. Noblebabywellness.com. Hello. Mom? Yeah. Okay. What's this on? It's my sweater. Why okay, if this? you guys need any more guidance, head over to www. W, 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 yeah, I thought I said like 20 W's. Anyway, www.noblebabywellness.com and book a discovery call with me. We can chit chat. Okay, see you, Liam. We can chit chat all about the different ways that you can support and help your body be ready and prepared for pregnancy. So I give you guys the option of doing a free 15 minute discovery call where we can chit chat and learn a little bit more about what your goals and where you want to start heading and if you guys are really excited and want to start working and getting your body ready i also offer an awesome package for pre-pregnancy revitalization and it is all on my website you guys can check it out and i know it can be so stressful when you are even considering having a baby because being being a new mom is pretty overwhelming and I want to be able to help you guys take that stress off your plate and help you prepare your body for pregnancy so you're not as stressed out about all of these crazy ingredients that are in your everyday household products. And if you already are a mom and you want to start clearing out some toxins from your house and making your house a non-toxic house, send me a message, book a discovery call, whatever you guys want to do, I am here to help and guide you to wellness so if you like this video give me a thumbs up if you really like this video subscribe down at the bottom that'd be awesome guys thanks guys have a beautiful day